It's day 20 of designing a festive island in 30 days without using my storage. Yesterday, we finally got around to one of my item dump areas by Agnes's house and made the laziest build ever, a field of tulips. Though not festive, having cleaned a large area on my island was a day well spent, and I found the time of day I plan to save the dream address at, which includes shooting stars. With two thirds of the challenge officially behind us, we still have a lot of cleaning and even more decorating to do before I can confidently say this island is finished. Please don't mind me. I'm trying to figure out where to put these freaking round street lamps. I have a few of them and it's been very difficult trying to figure out how they would look in various places and it's been just driving me bananas. But I have done a little bit of cleaning up from yesterday's build with the tulip farm and Agnes's area. I finally figured out where I could place this beautiful park fountain. I think that looks really nice and it's very clean. I do think I want to add a few fencing right here. Maybe the simple fence in white. Couldn't be me. I've never used that before. But we're getting there, friends. We are slowly making headway with getting this island complete. But where it is looking great there's like at least two or three areas that could definitely use some work and this is our focus for the day cleaning up this area deciding whether or not to get rid of some of these things figuring out what i want to do for here and probably moving quite a few items into the house but today it's a cleanup day it's a cleanup day marlo deserves a really nice yard i was thinking actually that I was going to make him into the florist, you know? Like give this a nice little flower garden right here. And maybe for Nook's Cranny, we could have a, a workshop area, maybe a little ice cream shop. I haven't decided. I have no plans. It is just no thoughts, head empty sort of day. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to collect these potato plants and sell the plants themselves to clear this area. And I just know after getting rid of these items that I'm going to regret it. I'm absolutely going to regret tossing them because I'm not going to remember what I have in my catalog. I'm not going to remember what I was thinking when I needed it. We'll, we'll figure it out. I do think that now that I'm in the last third of this challenge that I, I will get it done. It's more about finding that really nice sweet spot between tacky and too tidy, you know, because if this was a winter island, I probably would be able to use the light, like the illuminated DIYs more heavily. But with this being a summer island, I feel I have to be really careful with how I decorate. Those potatoes landed me about 6,000 bells. Is there anything in here that I could use flower-wise? I really should just be using my beach flowers for Marlo's area, but just in case, no, not seeing anything that I need. That's all right. I may get a couple of trees to fill the back area behind Marlo's yard, but I really do want to give Nook's Cranny some, some love, you know? <sighs> okay, so here comes the part I've been dreading. I really do not want to get rid of quite a few of these items. I could probably get rid of this one. That's fine. I want to make sure that I gift a couple of the the toy day items, but I'm sure there's a few that I could just like place around the island and, and fill it up that way. The first thing I want to do is put the book items by Molly's area. She has been writing to me, like she wrote multiple letters to me talking about wanting to live in a library. So I think what I'd like to do is, this isn't the finished build, obviously, but I think I want to give her a nice little reading area right here because it is still relatively plain. So we're going to put that there. I don't know if I introduced Bruce yet, but Bruce is our newest resident on the island. He is such a sweetheart and his interior, oh my gosh, his interior is the coolest. I don't, I don't know why I've not had Bruce on an island before, but him next to Biff, especially with Biff's interior, is pretty incredible. Not gonna lie. If I had Bruce and Stu next to each other, this would be the coolest vibe. 
Oh my goodness. Don't don't tell me when I said that Stu should be on an island with Bruce. But anyway, I don't want to devote an entire like build because this is going to be decked out eventually. I do think, however, a really cool build idea that I've always enjoyed doing is putting the tangled cords next to small cedar trees so it looks like they're getting ready to decorate. So that's just a little quick and easy build for me to you that in case you don't want to have a lot of cedar trees decorated, but it looks like they're in the process of doing so, it's such an easy idea. For Biff, I really want him to have a tinkerer vibe. So I think that there's a few things I'm going to add to this, but we're going to leave that here and we're going to give him the colorful drying rack I think over here yeah I really want this to look like they're camping out I don't know if that makes any sense but oh wait I'm sorry I just need to appreciate my genius for a minute because I don't do overlooks or perspective builds very well and this is hands down I think one of my favorites if not the best that I've done it's still a little empty, it needs some flowers, but I'm, I'm a huge fan. I'm going to put the floating biotop planter back here because as I said, I want Marlowe's area to be very lush and very curated, if that makes any sense. I want it to look like he's taken a lot of time for making his area really beautiful. So we're going to add a lot of flowers and a lot of plant items. I have a ton of succulent plants that are in cans that I want to make sure I use for this build too. And in the spirit of showing that Nook's Cranny is bustling and ready for the holidays, I do want to add a bit of ambiance for the fact that it is a store. I've also been thinking of unlocking the wooden pathing and put it right along Nook's Cranny, kind of like a patio or something. That would actually be really interesting, but again, I do want to make sure that Marlo has some space and it's not particularly, you know, busy. I have no idea where to put this, but we're just going to put it right here for now. Although it does, it does add a lot of texture, which I'm a huge fan. Actually, no, we're going to put it behind the trash can. Nice. I was really hoping to find some use for the cube light, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I can put it right here or something. It's a shame that I don't have custom codes because I would just turn this into a present, but you know, I'll hold on to it. I'll, hold, oh, you know what? He is a penguin, right? Maybe it could be like an ice cube. Maybe that would work. I'm not quite sure if there is a customization color for this in black because I would love to do the mining cart to look like a bunch of coal. I think that'd be really funny. We do in fact have a black rock customization. So I'm going to, you know, customize it now. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm sure I'll think of something pretty clever and hilarious. The fact that it's nearly taken me half an hour to clean this up is a, a very good indication that I have a hard time letting go of things, but I am really loving the idea of an ice cream thing here. So I may put it here or I may put it here. I haven't decided, but we're almost there. We're almost done cleaning up this area. You know, I've never really looked at the Zen furniture before. The Zen low table is pretty gorgeous. Do you see that little wood accent there? Maybe I'll put this by Molly's. Maybe. And eh, no, I don't think so. I may just end up selling it. I'm going to hate this. I'm going to regret this, but no, I'm going to sell it. Now that we have everything cleaned up for the most part. We're going to start with Marlo's area. I don't think I'm going to keep this in green, but I do want to figure out where I want to place this. I think what I'm going to do is, can I place it right here? I mean, I like it there. The only problem though is it's really close to the water, which I am not a fan of, and it hides the plant in the back here. What if I put it sideways this way? Again, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Maybe I am too invested in this flower layout like this. Maybe I need to change it out a little bit. Oh, I already unlocked the wooden path. That's good to know. So work with me. What if we put a stall in front of the flower display case? I don't have any customization kits on hand right now, so we're just going to put it here. And oh wow, I used up all of my, 
I used up all of my wood, so I'm gonna have to go to a cabin island if I want to continue building. All right, so if we put that there and we move this down here, hmm, what I may end up doing is I will have to go to a cabin island or a Nook Miles island, which I don't really wanna do. Either that, oh wait, no, you know what? I am making this way too hard on myself. Let's put the flower display case right here. Move this flower and put the stall here. It's not bad. It isn't bad. That's the problem with this. Like, I know that I can make it work and I just need to tinker with it, but maybe I need to clear out the dark dirt for this. This is looking a little bit better, but still, there's just... I, I think I just need to tinker with it some more. It doesn't help that I don't have the flower display case in the color that I'm looking for and the stall's not customized as of yet. The idea that I had was to have a flower garden that basically takes up this entire area with the simple fence in white. The only problem though is I think that needs wood. Oh, it doesn't need wood. Oh, that's cool. All right, well then let's put that together then. Now I have the hardest time and I'm the first to admit using this fencing in any build. I think the only time that I've ever really used this this fence type is during the, the first part of the game where Nook gives us 50 of them to decorate to get to three stars. But I did find this really beautiful build that was on Twitter, despite it being the dumpster fire that we know and hate, that this would seem to indicate a nice garden vibe. But oh no. Oh, wait, wait. Hmm. I'm trying to make it look like a garden that is actually being utilized not and not super curated, if that makes any sense. Like there's there's such a thing as being too polished. And I want this to look like Marlo is is doing something with this space. I wonder if I can put one here. This is what? One, two, three. This is me counting. Hold on. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm just I'm really struggling with this. I can make this work. I know that I can make this work. I have the technology, but for some reason, this is just really difficult. All right. How about if I put hedges here? OK. All right. I see it. You know what I wish for the next game? There are so many items and DIYs that do combinations. I would love for the hedge fencing and another fencing to be together, or even a combination of various hedge fencing, because the space between the space between friends is a continuous annoyance, I think, for every Animal Crossing player. It would be so fun that we could merge these two and it would still fit within one square or maybe even one and a half. I wouldn't complain with a one and a half, but at least looking downwards, that's not a problem. I went ahead and customized the items and OK, I am I am starting to feel like this will come together better. All right. I'm starting to hate this a lot less. You know what? I think I think I'm going to own this. I will add a little bit more of the dark dirt path to here, but I'm just I'm going to work with this. I do like how this looks. I have a lot of empty space here, but I think once I start adding the flowers and maybe I'll start adding a few more meadow areas or something to fill in this space, but we're just going to work with this. I did move the flower display case a little closer and I may just keep it like that. I I do like that. I try to strive for some level of realism in this game in the sense that, you know, if it's going to be a flower shop, there's actually, you know, space for the flower shop. Maybe, maybe, okay, here, here, we're going to add some realism. Maybe what Marlo does is he rolls it backwards so that he can be behind there. Yeah, that's how we're going to swing it. And now comes the fun part of adding the flowers from my varying flower beaches. Because Agnes has a lot of tulips, I'm going to keep her with the tulips. I really do enjoy these flowers and the various hybrids and I have been putting mums and windflowers and lilies around the island, so I do want to prioritize a couple of the different flower colors that are not going to be on this island, like the orange windflowers, the, the white pansies, the red roses, the white windflowers, although I may make the white windflowers the flowers for the beaches, though. 
I'll think about it. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I have the hardest time mixing flowers so it looks like an actual garden and not just, you know, for flower breeding purposes. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I do want to be mindful of utilizing flowers in different colors in a way that you know, it seems purposeful, but also kind of random. I'm really looking forward to that because I do want to test the waters with how I plant different flowers of different colors and seeing how it all comes together. What I'm realizing from this build is you need to be careful with where you place certain of like certain of the same flower types. So I don't want to have the pansies in the same row or column. I don't want to have two reds next to each other. So it's going to be really interesting. I went around and grabbed a couple of the flowers that are around the island. Uh, and there are quite a few. There's a lot of hyacinths that I have to manage. There's a lot of mums and there's a lot of lilies, but I am feeling pretty good about combining and leaving empty space. That's another thing about gardens that I do want to be mindful of is giving it breathing room having maybe a weed or an empty space so that it looks like you know it looks like a garden it looks like there's a little bit of love but there's some empty space and hope and a dream with the flowers it does look a lot better i think i really just need to trust the process but this is really coming together really nicely i may leave a couple of spaces open unless i want to i don't know maybe i'll add a, a crop or two. I would really like tomatoes. I don't think that's going to happen, but maybe by the end of this challenge, Leaf will decide to do me a solid. But I really do like this. I was thinking of adding a bit of pathing here, but you know, I think I think having it be open-ended is, is going to be nice. The next thing that I need to figure out is what am I going to do for here? I've been testing this idea for a little bit in my head because I do like the idea of adding some lighting fixtures here and using the garland. I'd been waiting for the ornament garland for a hot minute and i really want to find a way to make a use for it so let's put the hedge here and what does it look like to have the garland here uh oh okay this isn't this isn't bad actually the other thing is i could probably could i put it here Ooh, ooh! wait why why don't i hate that whoa wait a minute why don't i hate this this is really cute i don't actually hate that hold on hold on i mean yeah 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 okay let's try another one i think i have enough for two of them at the very least i think i can make two of them holy moly this looks super cute although is this i need to customize this one in particular i need i'm missing one customization kit but I don't actually hate that. That's really cute. This, however, is going to bother me. Oh my gosh, I don't hate that. That's really cute and it adds a lot of depth here, but this feels a little bit more closed off, so I think I need to do something about it. But what if I stuck with my original idea and put it here? What if I did that? The 2.0 items for the winter holidays were an incredible addition. I just, I really wish I knew how to make them look good together because this just feels kind of like a spiky mess behind something that's very not wintry. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put this back here like I originally did. And what if I put the other one right here? It's not going to work because although I really love this and I want to make this work so badly, the depth difference is a little jarring. Although the more that I see this, I do like this. I could probably fill this in or maybe, maybe. Could I do it like this? That's also really cute. Another option is I could probably move these sideways instead. No, because then you kind of lose, you lose the whole point, right? So what if instead of trying to put it here, what if we put it back here and decorate this area instead? Would the ornament tree look, you know what? I'm starting to like it like this. This is nice. I do need to change out this coloration though, but I, I am starting to like it back here. 
and it, it is it's subtly festive you know that's that has as i've said that's been the biggest issue for me is trying to find the nice middle ground with tacky and tasteful i am starting to really like this yeah okay all right i see you garland this is looking pretty good now that i've customized the ornament trees oh oh yeah oh yeah it's all coming together i'm a huge fan wow that immediately just brightens up the area i love it i love it I have an extra tree. I don't think I can fit it. Maybe, you know what? I think we're just going to put it right here. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like that. I did also craft a couple of ornament table lamps because I liked the idea of like lighting up the island somehow, but I'm still not sure how to make that happen. Again, being able to customize certain fencing with various items would have been incredible for this update. I would also just like to be able to customize all the fencing because could you imagine for example the hedge fencing being in the different flowers from the shrubs that would have been really pretty. I just there's just so much you could have done with customizing in this game. I don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that. I also considered putting it as a light fixture outside of people's houses. That's something that I could also do but again it's just this is a very hard item to decorate with, and I have no idea how to utilize it well. I'm going to finish this build by adding a log dining table and I think just one log bench. I had this idea to create an ice cream stand, but you know, I think what I'd like to do is just have something that's a little low key. Just like someone wants to have some shaved ice in the back and just enjoy the the summer breeze and, and the heat. So we're going to do it that way instead. I already love it. This is very cute. And you can also navigate on all of these different sides. I will probably be adding a few more accent pieces, maybe a couple of flowers around here, but this came together in a way that I couldn't have imagined and it's so much better than I could have thought. I do need to customize a couple of these and change the coloring out, but so far, I think we did a really great job cleaning up the area. There's still a little bit that I need to add and work on, but as far as a base build, that's what I'm going to call them from now on, this is pretty great. And I just, this just brings me so much joy to decorate for specific villagers and actually give them yards. I'm looking forward to designing for all of the other villagers in the coming days and just designing their yards, but so far, I'm really loving this. Today was super productive. We were able to clean up an entire area. We gave a villager a beautiful yard. And although it's not specifically festive in the front, it has, you know, a little zhuzh of fest in the back. In the next coming days, we will be designing for other villager homes. And when that video is ready, it'll be available on screen right now.